I bit the bullet and we're going to install a Ryzen 9 5900X to replace the 3700X that I've got in the system now. Is it gonna fix my problems? What's the benchmarks gonna be before and after? That's what this video is all about. So go get a cup of coffee, stick around, cause this is gonna be a long one. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna go on an adventure because I've been pulling my freaking hair out. I've got myself a beautiful computer, right? When you're a content creator, your computer is the most important thing second to your camera, okay? So obviously I create content, I need my computer to work. I, I'm an ophthalmologist by training and an health activist by choice. And it just doesn't. Sometimes it's fantastic. And other times I'm just pulling my hair out going, why is it so slow? What is wrong with it? I've been doing some digging and I'm trying to follow things, you know, through to, to not waste any money, but my CPU usage, according to OBS right now is 0.2%. And I brought up, you know, a bunch of other diagnostic tools and next and NZXT cam, and it's like at 2% right now. And and looking at core temp, if we're looking at the maximum is, you know, one or two threads might bounce up to 10%. But the computer is just unresponsive at times, especially when you go to render. Just take a look at right here. I'm trying to render a news bumper. And when I had everything maximized to the best of my abilities, it takes four minutes to render this thing which isn't that bad, you know, considering how many effects I have thrown at it, that's not too bad. But if I just simply turn off DOCP for the memory and run it straight through, now look how bad it gets. This is, this is unsustainable. And forget about trying to play back things when you're trying to edit things and then you want to throw some fusion effects and throw, you know, a compound clip into fusion and it's just not possible. So today I bit the bullet and we're going to install an upgrade, a Ryzen 9 5900X to replace the 3700X that I've got in the system now. Is it going to fix my problems? What's the benchmarks gonna be before and after? That's what this video is all about. So go get a cup of coffee, stick around, cause this is gonna be a long one. All right, first things first, we need to document how we have all these freaking USB cables going in and out of our computer. Because with it, when you have multiple webcams, and I'm sure you guys have figured out by now, there's a maximum limit of three HD webcams that you can run on a USB controller. It's actually the controller, not the number of ports that matters because of bandwidth limitations. So you got to keep track of what's going on unless you want to try and reconfigure it or figure it out again, all over again. When you put this thing back together, take pictures of your USB cables, where they're going, how they're routed, and make note of the fact that we've got a lot of dust on the front of this computer. So while we have the thing apart, we're going to obviously take our air compressor, blow the thing clean, and wash out this filter that's behind the front panel of this computer. So, next. All right, doggies, time to move. Sorry, I gotta work on the computer. I have to go, bye-bye. Go on, look out. That's not supposed to happen.
bad. That's not supposed to happen. Got no issues, it's kinda nice Like running water into a paradise Got no drama, feels like we arrived Picture perfect, it don't exist But when I'm with you, don't have to question it yeah. True to ocean
I'm telling you guys, this has been an adventure. So if you came here trying to figure out, you know, should I upgrade from the Ryzen 7 to the Ryzen 9 5900, you got your answer. It didn't quite go the way I planned it, but <laughs> you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. However, I must tell you, okay, I must tell you, the benchmarks that we've seen here, here's the initial results that we got, and then we checked them again, and, well, I didn't realize that, you know, I was testing it while I was recording it, so they weren't quite as high as they could have gotten, but the fact of the matter is, we went from something that was... By according to benchmarks, I mean, that should have been pretty good. But real world experience is so different than what you get in benchmark testing. We had constant problems. Videos wouldn't play while I'm live streaming. It just didn't make any sense to me. And I tried everything. And I got the thing upgraded. And here's the final results for our pass mark scores. I'm telling you. If you're on the fence about whether or not you should upgrade your CPU, I can without any hesitation tell you, go do it. It was well worth the $320 I had to pay because that was what the price was on Amazon and it's already come down another $10. And by the time you watch this video, I'm sure it's gonna come down even more. I mean, for those of you that truly wanna see the actual results, well, here you go, lackluster. The 3700 was lackluster by, and confirmed by real world experience. Sometimes it would do okay. And other times it would be like, eh. I'm telling you, what a massive upgrade from the 3700X, which every once in a while just pooched the screw and just didn't perform despite having such a beautiful benchmark, the reality is when I got this upgraded to the 5900X, we moved into a whole new realm of capabilities for what is in this computer now. We are literally in the 99th percentile. And when you upgrade your CPU, you are not just going to be upgrading your processing capabilities you are also going to be upgrading everything else in your system. So this score is beautiful, but this improvement improves everything else inside your computer. So if you're on the fence, I'm telling you, it'd be the best decision you ever made. And Yes, you will see performance improvements and you will see benchmark improvements, but those don't really matter. What really matters is when you go to load a page, how quick does it load? When you go to render a new video, how long is it gonna take to render? When you're trying to edit a video, how long do you have to wait before the compound clip and the fusion clip that you just created renders in the cache so you can watch it. That's what really matters. And for me, this is exactly what it has done for this computer. Gaming, fantastic. No hesitations whatsoever. I thought I had a wonderful setup before, but this improves the GPU's capability to be able to render things in real time. And it's now being fully utilized. When I'm gaming, it's running at 99% the whole time. No ifs, ands, ors, or buts about it. Workstation, this thing is a beast. And I'm telling you, you can have the same thing if you go and you upgrade your CPU. So, I guess with that, this video's all wrapped up. Thank God I'm not. It's time for me to head to camp. So, hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Hit the like button. If you didn't like something, tell me about it. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to improve it, but without feedback, well, you're just going to get whatever I, my little brain can come up with. I mean, that might scare some of you, but it is what it is. So I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I guess I'll catch you on the next one.